You're totally unprepared for the audition. I don't even want to bring it up because I don't want to bring an excuse yet, but I'm going through a lot of things here. I've just thought of my boyfriend in six years. Can you believe it? Chloe Can left Simon Cowell shocked when she strolled out covered head to toe in fake orange tan on The X Factor back in 2010. She told him her hobby was lots of partying, and these days she probably still is. Mm, too much partying, really. <laughs> what kind of partying? Any party in can get. Chloe has pulled off one of the biggest rags to riches transformation since, and now she's shocked everyone since she looks like a different person. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and this series is titled Before and After. Back in 2010, Chloe Can was looking like a hot mess when she stepped out onto the X Factor, but now she's had a seriously shocking glow up. We're gonna take a look at Chloe's head to toe transformation from X Factor reject to OnlyFans star and influencer, including all of the cosmetic work she's had done along the way. We recently dropped a few other videos in this series, including one on Kelly Osbourne and Dolly Parton. As always, be sure to let us know who's before and after is up next, and I'll see you after the intro. Chloe Can was born Chloe Victoria Held on June 1st, 1990 in Wakefield, West Yorkshire, England. She was raised by her mother, but they struggled financially, living in a council house with no carpets and eating toast for Christmas dinner. Chloe was only 18 when she became pregnant with her daughter Destiny with her now ex-boyfriend Ian. In 2010, Chloe decided to audition for The X Factor and got through singing a couple songs, but was kicked off the show after admitting she stayed up all night partying and she smelled of vodka. Her appearance on the show led to more details of her private life being revealed such as drug accusations and she disappeared from the spotlight for a bit. Now Chloe's bad fake lashes and orange tan are all gone and it seems over the years she's built up a millionaire jet set lifestyle as well as a whole new appearance. 28 year old did some modeling for Playboy, dated the boss of Spearmint Rhino for some time and even returned to reality TV. In 2016 Chloe was on Celebrity Big Brother UK and had a steamy fling with Stephen Bear. But this isn't the only way Chloe paid for all of her cosmetics surgery. In the past, Chloe had admitted to being paid to party, which some like to say is escorting. She said, What I do is called pay to party where you get paid to go out with a group of people. Sometimes you are on your own, but mostly you are with a group of other girls. You do dancing, you do different things. You do not sleep with anyone for money. Chloe also found success in the webcam business, claiming she could make up to 50 pounds a minute, chatting to several men online. Speaking about her continued success in this industry, I got lots of work and then I realized I could employ other girls to work for me and built up a successful business from there. I now have 50 employees and have made more than 1 million pounds. Well, she used the funds to splurge on her complete makeover, spending an alleged 20,000 pounds on her boobs, nearly 10,000 pounds on her nose job, and more on veneer and lip fillers. But more on that in just a moment. These days, Chloe is making more bank on the popular platform OnlyFans, as you may have guessed. Like plenty of celebrities and influencers, she joined the site and charges $20 per month for a subscription to access exclusive content. It's estimated that she earns nearly $1 million US per month from here alone. Now let's get into all of Chloe's transformations. In 2016, when she appeared on Celebrity Big Brother, she was already sporting a new look. First of all, Chloe had a rhinoplasty to get a new nose, but that was actually a horrifying experience for her. Years back, Chloe decided to fly to Ukraine to get a cute dolly nose after seeing a surgeon on Instagram. When she was going under before it kicked in, she said she saw the doctor put a dirty blanket with dried blood on her. She also said, Then halfway through the operation, I became conscious and felt something hot pour all over my face. I realized it was blood and tried to scream, but I couldn't move. I wasn't in pain, but I did think I was going to die. Things didn't improve when she got home as she collapsed on the kitchen floor and laid there for two days, at one point even thinking she was going to die. Chloe had to wear bandages for 20 hours a day and was left with no sense of smell or feeling in her nose. Uh, well, to be honest, because it's not just how the nose is that was so bad like I actually woke up during surgery and loads of other things happened whilst we were there so it was so, just yeah. a disaster just from a get go it was just a nightmare since this experience she went on to get some more surgery to rectify the situation and despite how horrible it was it never scared Chloe away from plastic surgery aside from her nose Chloe has had a bunch of other work done to achieve her current appearance she's had not one but two boob jobs and implants have gotten her to a size 32 double H 
and the breast surgeries have cost her about 20,000 pounds alone. Chloe also got a Brazilian butt lift, which is a popular procedure where a surgeon transfers fat from other areas in the body into ones behind to create bigger curves. It was said that Chloe first had a BBL surgery in 2017, and then in 2019, she actually got her butt fixed again. She went to Turkey for the procedure and told her followers that her old butt was starting to sag, so she had it replaced and opted for a slightly larger and higher look. When Chloe got the initial procedure, she also got what she called a designer vagina, so it worked done there as well. Finally, Chloe also gets her lips done to be more full, which she's admitted to, and got veneers for a set of perfect teeth. When discussing all of her plastic surgery, the influencer said, I've spent about 20k on my boobs, 8.5k on veneers, my nose job was 9k, and my lips were another 10k. So it's about 50k in total. So there you have it, likely 50,000 pounds or more by now spent on Chloe's ultimate transformation. Now we've taken a look at the crazy transformation of Chloe Can from X Factor wannabe to Barbie doll influencer. What did you guys think? Would you guess that's even the same person? I know I wouldn't. My name is Kara, and that wraps it up for this before and after. Be sure to drop me a comment down below about Chloe's looks so we can discuss and tell me who we should feature next on before and after. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!